Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how to use your ESP32 board as MQTT broker. Okay, so yes, we can use our ESP32 board as MQTT broker. So uh, instead of Hive MQ MQTT broker, Mosquito MQTT broker, Nano MQ MQTT broker, or any other cloud MQTT broker, you can directly use this ESP32 board as MQTT broker. So you don't need to install uh, Mosquito MQTT broker in the Raspberry Pi. You don't have to purchase any other cloud broker services for communication. You can use your ESP32 as a cheapest MQTT broker. Okay. And with the help of this three library, you can perform that action. So the first one is Pico MQTT. The second one is embedded MQTT broker and the third one is SMQTT broker. So now in this video, we are going to cover the first topic. Okay. How to set up basic MQTT broker in the ESP32 board using Pico MQTT library. Okay. So let's see how you can do that. And before that, here is the diagram. So we have our ESP32 board in the center, which work as the MQTT broker. And here is our MQTT client and you can exchange the data between each of your client. And this is the diagram for the local area networks. So once you deploy your ESP32 board as MQTT broker in the local area network, your N number of client in the local area network can connect with this ESP32 MQTT broker and they can exchange the data. Also, you can do the port forwarding of your ESP32 MQTT broker and then after you can access your ESP32 MQTT broker from anywhere in the world over the internet. So that is also possible, but you have to do some port forwarding stuff for that. But uh, in the local area, it will work absolutely fine without any problem. So let's see how you can load the code and how you can use it. So here I have already installed the Pico MQTT library in my Arduino IDE. So here you can see Pico MQTT, which is already installed and I'm going to the examples. Okay. Here in the example, you will have to find Pico MQTT folder. As you can see Pico MQTT and we are going to select the basic server example. Okay. So here is the basic server example, or you can say basic MQTT broker example for ESP32 board. So first of all, what will happen your ESP32 board will connect with Wi-Fi okay for your local area network communication and then after your Python client your ESP32C3 or any other node MCU board will connect with this ESP32 MQTT broker so first of all we have to make ESP32 available in the local area network by connecting to the Wi-Fi so here I'm going to provide the SSID which is and here is the password okay and uh, that's it so in this example all you have to do is you just have to change the ssid and you just have to change your wi-fi password so esp32 board will connect with your wi-fi and then after it will act as a mqtt broker okay now we can select our board okay and we can select the com port that's it we can directly upload the code in our esp32 board Okay, so you can see done uploading. So we have successfully uploaded this code into our ESP32 board. Now I'm going to open the serial monitor here and I'm going to press the reset button in my ESP32 board. You can see connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected and here is the IP address. Okay, so this is the IP address which we are going to use to connect with our MQTT broker. Now I'm going to open the MQTT Explorer software which is our MQTT client. Okay, so you can use any MQTT client software. It can be your Node-RED, it can be your SCADA system, it can be your test MQTT client, anything. Okay, all of your MQTT client will connect with this ESP32 MQTT broker. And right now in this code, the default port for communication is 1883. Okay, you can change this port number as well in this code, but that we are going to see in the future videos. Now here we have the IP address 192.168.1.11. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add new connection, which is my ESP32. I'm going to provide the IP address of my ESP32 here. And here is the port number 1883, which is default for this uh, basic server uh, code okay and i'm going to click on the connect and here you can see we are connected also let me open another mqtt explorer okay and uh, again we will add new connection which is esp32 
and I'm going to provide the IP address of my ESP32 and I'm going to save it and then I'm going to click on connect. So you can see both of the client is connected with my ESP32 broker and also I can publish the data. So I'm going to publish the data on the test topic and I'm going to publish 111 and here you will receive that. Okay. And on the same topic, I can publish another value. Okay. And you will see the update in both of the clients. Also, we can try for one more value. And here you can see. So what exactly happening is uh, we have two clients. OK, so this is the first client and this is the second client. So both are connected to our ESP32 MQTT broker and both are exchanging the data. OK, so this is how you can use ESP32 as the MQTT broker. And this is the basic code. OK, we haven't uh, secured our MQTT broker with the password as well. And we haven't configured custom port. But that thing we are going to see in the future videos. OK, so custom port configuration and uh, username and password configuration is only available with the Pico MQTT library. OK, so those are limitation for other libraries. So if you are going to use the embedded MQTT broker, then you cannot set up security in that broker. Also the same case with the SMQTT broker. And there are some other limitation as well. So I'm going to to provide the github repository link for all these three library and there you can uh, view the limitation of these brokers okay but for normal use case it will work fine okay here and here you can see both clients are connected if i uh, remove my esp32 from my system okay and uh, then after we were not able to publish any data so if i publish data to 4444 on the topic test then we are not able to publish it Okay, and if, if we disconnect and if we try to connect, then we are not able to connect. So let me again uh, connect my ESP32 with my system. You can see Wi-Fi connected. And here you can see it is connected. Okay, let me connect this client again. Okay, and we can publish the data and that is available here. So it is working absolutely fine with ESP32 board. Okay, so I hope everything is clear that how you can use ESP32 board as MQTT broker using Pico MQTT library and uh, the code, uh, you can get the code from example only. So you have to go to the example, you have to search for the Pico MQTT and you can use this basic server example. Okay, so I hope everything is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt in this then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere all social media link is available on our website so let's meet in the next video and in the next video we are going to cover this topic that how you can set the custom port for your esp32 mqtd broker so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you